people of the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world today, thank you for attending KNCP Chai Exhibition here. I'm Cherry. 2020 is a special year for everyone in the world. It has turned all our lives upside down. It's brought a terrible suffering and loss. But it's reminded us what matters most, the health and the safety of the people around us. Canaan, we focus on health value, strive for human health. No matter where you are, we'll be always together with you. I know most of you can't come to the show this year, but it doesn't matter. We will arrange the live shows for our products in the next few days. Our people Melody and Funny will take you around and help you to know more details of our products. Hope you enjoyed the show. Now let's welcome Melody. Hello everyone, this is Melody. Nice to see you. Uh, first, please do let us know if you can hear us well, if the video is good, and where are you coming from, because that would be very good to know. Also, if you haven't followed us on Facebook yet, please remember to follow. So, okay, now you can see I'm standing on the Canaan booth. This year, we have total six machines, including OEV5 granulation isolator, OEV5 coater, tablet compress machine, high containment capsule filling machine, and purified water generator. Today, I'll take you to see the OV5 granulation isolator and OV5 coater. And if you have any questions during the live shows, you can ask and we'll try our best to answer your questions. Now, let's go. Okay, this is our OV5 granulation isolator and it integrates the hydro mixer, wet mill, dry, fluid bed dryer, dry mill, and mixer to complete the processes of the granulating, drying, milling, and mixing into one machine. So in order to let you know more about the detailed information and structures of the machine, we today invited uh, our engineer, also designer for the machine, Chris, to give you a better understanding so now let's welcome Chris. Hello, Chris. Hello. Uh, okay, say hello to our audience. Hello, everyone. I'm the engineer of Canon and the designer of this machine. Okay, nice to see you, Chris. Nice so, you. Uh, first, can you give us a brief introduction of the machine to let us know uh, a rough idea? Okay. Yes, I'd love to. Okay, so. thank you. Okay, uh, we can see the whole machine. Uh, is integrated in a uh, uh, isolator. Yes. Here we can see the pass box. Uh, the pass box is used for the material in and out. And uh, this is a high share mixer uh, for granul for wet granulation. And uh, this is a wet mill. The one step granulator, the dry meal, and last uh, the blender. Oh, the machine can meet the demand for one to five kg capacity. Okay, so we can see that this machine is composed of two parts. The Pass uh, the isolator and the process machines, right? Yes. Uh, for the isolator, it has a function for high containment uh, protection and can meet OEB5 requirement. Here you can see the pass box. It can be used for material weighing, pre treatment, and buffering. Also, the material in and out. Uh, there is a transport window between pass box and the granulation chamber. Uh, it can close the transfer material from the pass box to granulation chamber. Yes. Yes. Here yeah, we can we can open the pass box like this. Okay. Okay. After the material 
enter the granulation chamber. Mm -hmm. We can open the lid of high shear mixer yes. for granulation feeding. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a binder hopper on the on the lid of the uh, high shear mixer. I see. We can add the binder hopper, a uh, binder through the hopper yes. for wet granulation. Okay, through the wet granulation and after that, what's the next step? After granulation, the material passes through the discharging port into the wet mill. But uh, before discharging, we should slide the fluid bed beam under the wet mill to catch the granules like okay. this. Can be slid up uh, under the uh, wet mill. Okay, so to the wet mill position. So it turns out that the chamber can move back and forth along the track. So can it move along the whole track from the beginning to the end? Yes, of course. It can be slid back to the fluid bed position for dryer mm -hmm. and for one step granulation. Yes. Or it can be uh, slid to the ah. dry mill. Okay, to the dry mill. So we can put the material from the bin to the dry mill oh, okay. for milling. Okay. So uh, after milling, what's the next process? After milling, mm -hmm. we can. Uh, there is a, a bag under the dry mill and the collection the uh -huh. uh, granules yes. to stand by. Okay, catch the granules. So after this, I think the material goes into the mixer, right? Yes. After milling, we can put the granules into the blender for total mixing. The bean can be changed with other size for different uh, batch capacity. Okay, can change with uh, different sizes, good. So uh, the mixing is the last process in the machine? Yes. After mixing, we can connect the discharge hose and open uh, we can see it. After mixing, we can connect uh, the hose and yes. uh, the discharge valve to pour our material into IBC container. Mm -hmm. Normally, it connects uh, with a supplied butterfly valve okay. to realize the high containment. Okay. Uh, but I cannot find any space for the IBC container right here, you know. There would be a big frame and uh, uh, operation platform here, but the platform is too big to show here. So maybe I can show you some picture after the live. Okay, so after the live show, maybe we can share with the, uh, our users. So, uh, you know, Chris, about this part, you know, about this structure, it's like a drum or something. Uh, so what's this used for? This is a RTP level. Mm -hmm. If you have samples, bags, materials, tools, and other, we should uh, transfer during process. Yes. The RTP can make it possible for letting them in and out from the closed system. Okay. And I will show you how to operate it. Okay, that would be very nice. Okay. Look here. We can open the door easily and uh, put the samples or tools in the bin and then close the door. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, sorry, we can open the RTP level and uh, carry the bin to the other room oh, for sample or I testing. See. Wow, wow, this structure really ensure the material close transfer, you know, to uh, ensure the safety of the operation and also the operators. Oh, okay, thank you very much for Chris' introduction to this machine. I believe you have a general understanding of the machine, but Chris, I still have some questions about details of the machine. Can you help me? Of course I can. Okay, sure, thank you very much. For example, for the material feeding part, uh, I can see there is a separate pass box 
you know, as I remember, uh, I think for high containment granulation line, normally the machines are integrated in one chamber. But for this design, this is a separate one. So can you uh, give us some idea of why to design like this? That's a good question. Uh, we can see there are two doors in the pass box. Uh, it's a outer door, and uh, this is the inner door. Yes. They are interlocked. Okay. Interlocked. When we open the outer door, the another door cannot be opened. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we can put the material in the pass box. The inner door keeps the working area and the production workshop isolated. Okay. And when we pass the material from the pass box to the granulation chamber. Yes. The outer door will keep the uh, isolator and the cleaning room isolated. Okay, I see. So the dust in the isolator can, can't leak into the cleaning room. Okay, so you mean there is always a door to keep the whole isolator in a closed environment when charged material in the pass box. Am I right? You are right. Okay, so uh, I have a question. What if I add material once and want to add materials again? Is it possible? No problem. We can see there's a spray gun, washing gun, in the pass box here. If we want to use uh, the pass box again, we just to, to wash in the pass box by the washing gun. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it's very easily. Okay, to I use see. it again. Okay, so the washing for this uh, separate pass box and uh, to prevent uh, the pollution. Okay, thank you. So uh, next we can see that this must be the operation chamber, right? Yes. Uh, we, we can see all the machines are integrated in this chamber. Okay, so uh, Chris, I have a question. You know, uh, for the integrated granulation isolator, such kind of machines, normally the material transferring mode for such kind of machines will use vacuum transfer. But for this machine, uh, I found that uh, according to your introduction, uh, it's used the uh, manual transfer. So what's the purpose of the design? As you said, many machines chose the vacuum transfer, but uh, if there Production capacity is very little, uh, such as 0.1, uh, 0.5 kg. Maybe most of material would live on the vacuum pipe after vacuum transfer. Uh -huh. So we designed the manual transfer structure. It avoids the problem and will reduce the uncounted risks. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, according to your uh, description, we can see that it can not only reduce the risk, also can improve the production efficiency. So um, we can see uh, the fluid bed dryer here. You know, I have a question that that the filter bag is a little bit high for me. You know, for operators like my heights, uh, they will be a little bit high to change the filter bag. So how do we operate normally? Don't worry. We have fully considered about this. We use the cylinder to let the shaking bag lifting and down. And uh, the diffusion chamber can be slid to the right to let the filter bag upper and down. Okay, yeah. so it can lift and down. So no worries for this. Okay, uh, and Chris, I have another question. I think many users or customers may concerned about the washing of the isolator. You know, since all the machines integrate in inside the isolator, so how do you consider about the washing? Okay, the washing part of this machine includes two uh, aspects. Now we can see there are many washing balls in the isolator, like the uh, washing ball behind the high shear mixer and the washing ball behind the wet meal and on the wall, you can see, and also behind the mm -hmm. uh, free bed dryer, yeah, and I also see. here okay. uh, in many, many places in the isolator. Okay. And we also set several washing guns for uh, washing where the washing ball can't, cannot reach. Okay. 
Okay. So they are washing system for the isolator. And uh, besides, we also have many washing ports for the device, such as uh, the blender bin. There's a washing bowl we can on the uh, blender bin lid. And uh, also the dry meal. There's a washing bowl. Yes in the wall of the uh, dry meal and uh, in the bottle of the free the bed uh, you can see there is also a uh, washing bowl and other okay. like sulfurian uh, chamber and also upper chamber there are also many washing bowl inside it okay so it can realize the basic uh, machine okay uh, basic you. washing of the machine Okay, thank you, Chris. I think I can uh, understand that all the yeah, all the uh, washing balls and the spray guns are covered all the clean points. So thank you very much. And uh, for this part, you know, uh, Chris, for the material outlet part, you mentioned about the RTP valve to yes. closely transfer the material. But I have a question. So, uh, for material transfer, in addition to RTP, what other ways or methods we can use to closely transfer or discharge the material? Mm, such as uh, uh, split uh, butterfly valve and the uh, continuous bagging system, mm -hmm. and even the pass box can realize the uh, mm -hmm. uh, material in and out in a closed system. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, thank you Chris. Thank you very much. I think you have some most of my questions and I think you really give us a uh, detailed and uh, uh, explanation and introduction. Thank you Chris. Uh, so uh, let's see what questions you have and uh, we can we will select some of your questions during the live shows. Because don't worry, and our colleague, okay, Lily, maybe do me a favor. We can select some of the questions, and we will do an answer. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, question one: What is the inlet air handling and exhaust filter system of the isolator? Okay, about AHU unit. So, Chris, what do you think? Okay, uh, for the machine. We have set. Uh, we have two sets of the isolator. Okay, uh, two the sets. The okay. HU and the duster system. Yes. One is for the isolator, and the other one is for the fluid bed uh, granulator. Okay, two sets. I see. Yes, and uh, uh, the air inlet and exhaust are both equipped with H14 HEPA. Yes. Uh, it can make lowest. Uh, that's the leaking, but uh, don't obstruct the air exchanging. Mm -hmm. The exhaust system is also equipped with a wet scrubber to ensure safe. Besides, all filters in the exhaust system are equipped with bagging back out system to ensure that the process of filter replacement is also in a closed system uh, environment. Okay, thank you very much. So I can see BIBU and wet scrubber are set for dust removal. So uh, thank you, Chris. Thank you very much okay. for the introduction of the OEV5 granulation isolator. So uh, friends, if you have further questions, don't worry. You can leave a message or you can contact us. Our, uh, uh, we will contact you soon. Don't worry. So uh, next, we will move to the OEV5 coater. So how about we... Uh, okay. Go to the OEP5 coder and Let's see go. yes, what's the details and what's the information about the coder. This is the tablet compressed machine which we will show you tomorrow. And here we go. Okay, here you can see this is our high containment coder. This is our high containment coater. You can see this is combined of the isolator and the main machine. So, uh, Chris, can you give us a brief introduction of the coater? Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we can see. This uh, high containment coater is consists uh, with a uh, uh, isolator and the coaters. Yes. 
you can see the isolator is used for opering, opering, uh, op uh, opening operation during the ah, process. Okay. We can adjust the spare gun or uh, sampling in the isolator. Okay. And besides the isolator, we can see a uh, RTP valve. Okay, RTP valve. Yeah. We can we oh. can put the material in or out through the RTP valve. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, but I would like to know more detailed structure inside of the coder. Can we move to here and see what's inside of the coder? Okay. Okay. Let's see. I'm <laughs> I'm open the door. Yeah. Here we can see the pen in the coder. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I can see the coding line is very beautiful. So can you, uh, Chris, give us some idea about the design or the features of the coating pan? Yes. In order to have better mixing effect and uh, less mixing volume, this coater is welded with a wall-shaped mixing candle in the pan. This structure combined with the shrink spare gun yes. and the binder charge system, yes. uh, they can achieve a lot of coating process. Wow. The capacity of this machine is 1 to 10 kg. Okay. So the balls of coater are changeable. Okay. Uh, we have three kinds of ball for the machine. Okay, three different signs. That's that's good to know. So uh, after your introduction, uh, okay, we come to another question. How to clean this structure, you know, inside the uh, this structure? Uh, we can see there are several washing balls for washing. Uh, like the washing ball on the right and on the left. Okay, I can and see. also uh -huh. uh, in the uh, inlet port, uh, also in the washing pan, uh, the coating pan and the isolator, we have many, many washing balls uh, to realize CIP. We also provide a circulation uh, washing function mm -hmm. in the washing system to save water and improve the cleaning efficiency. Okay. Okay, thank you, Chris. We really uh, know something about the, you know, the appearance, also the inside structure, and we also know the washing of the culture. Thank you so much. Now I think uh, we can go to the next process about the. Okay, here we can take a look, and next we can go to the and question and answer. Okay, here we can see. A question of our friend, how to discharge the material? Is it manual discharge? So Chris, can you give us an answer? The discharge system of this machine is automatically. Okay, automatically. Uh, when we want to discharge the tablet, mm -hmm. we only need to select the discharging function on the operation screen. And uh, the reducer of the culture machine will start to rotated in reverse direction. Mm -hmm. The special designed panel in the pan will drive the tablet out and into the isolator through the pipe. Now we can see. So we can connect the pipe with the uh, split butterfly valve for okay. high containment discharge. Okay, wow, this is really automatic and uh, uh, with no residue. It's very smart design. So another question, a friend asked about the coater is in the isolator. How can we change the coating pan? Yes, it's also my question. Chris, can you give us some uh, idea? The coater and the isolator are designed to be separable. Uh, they are sitting Sitting the way the inflatable ceiling to make them containment. When we need to change the pan, just open the locking between the isolator and the coater machine, and uh, uh, push away the isolator. Uh, then we can open the front door of the coater. Uh, of course, there is also an interlock design between the isolator and the coater. Wow, if the isolator and the coater is not connected together, mm -hmm. the coater will alarm when okay. it is started. So after we open the uh, front door of the coater, mm -hmm. uh, we can 
uh, change the ball and also do some maintenance. Okay. Wow. That's very good to know about the interlock of the isolator and the machine. Thank you so much, Chris. I think today, today's introduction and all the answer and question and answers comes to an end. Thank you uh, for your watching. And uh, if you have further questions, you can contact us by Facebook or can you can send email to us. We will reply you and we will contact you as soon as possible. So today, let's stand. thanks for Chris introduction. Thank you so much for okay. today's uh, yeah, introduction and your time, effort. Okay, that's very good for us to know more about the information. So tomorrow uh, at 10 a.m. China time, we will give you another live show about the T-Series tablet compress machine. So at that time, my partner, Funny, will take you into the world of tablet compress machine. We'll see you then. Please do remember, at that time, we will be on the live show. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.